Welcome back to Solve It with Sir June. Today we will be discussing about quadratic functions in terms of graphs, table of values, and equations. In this video lesson, you will learn to determine if the given graph, table of values, ordered pairs, and equation is a quadratic function or not. So let us start our discussion for today. So quadratic function in terms of equations. So these are equations that can be transformed to y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. And this one can also be rewritten as f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. These forms are what we call as the standard form of quadratic function. So again, we have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, or f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So another important note that the highest power of the independent variable x is 2. So we need to take note that the highest exponent of x here should be 2. How about if we are given with x is equal to y squared? It is not anymore a quadratic function since the exponent of x here is 1. So next, the other form of quadratic function, aside from the standard form, we have y is equal to a times the square of the binomial x minus h plus k. This form is what do we call as the vertex form of the quadratic function. Like the standard form, this vertex form can also be rewritten in terms of f of x or function of x. So we have f of x is equal to a times the square of the binomial x minus h plus k. Our quadratic function is a quadratic equation. But this time, since it is a quadratic function, we will be taking into consideration the variables x and y. So we will be using the variables x and y. So let us now go to the following um, examples. We need to determine if it is is a quadratic function or not. So we should take note that there are two possible forms in order for us to say that the, that the given statement is a quadratic function. If it can be rewritten in standard form or in vertex form, there, therefore, we can say that it is a quadratic function. Let us have number 1. So for number 1, we are given with y is equal to x squared minus 9. So if you can see here, the independent variable x has the highest exponent of 2. And this one is considered as a quadratic function. This quadratic function is in standard form. Okay? So that will be y is equal to x squared minus 9. So next, how about number 2? So for number 2, we are given with y is equal to 3x minus 4. This is not a quadratic function. Since the highest exponent of x here, or the independent variable, is 1. But we can call this one as a linear function. Okay, next, number 3. So we are given with f of x, or the function of x, is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 3. At first, we may say that this is not a quadratic function. But if we are going to apply the FOIL method, we will obtain the function f of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. And if you can see, this form is the standard form of the quadratic function. And the highest exponent of the independent variable x is 2. So we can say that it is a quadratic function. So next, for number 4, we are given with f of x is equal to negative 3 times the square of the binomial x minus 4 minus 1. Is this a quadratic function? Yes, it is a quadratic function, and this time, it is written in vertex form. Okay, so why is it called the vertex form? It is called the vertex form because at one look, we can immediately get or see, identify, determine the vertex of the graph. So next, let us go to quadratic function in terms of graphs. So the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola, but we should take note that the parabola can open upward, downward, to the right, or to the left. And by the way, a parabola is a U-shaped graph. 
Okay? So, we will be considering two of these four voices. The quadratic function in terms of graph are parabolas that open upward and downward. We will not consider those parabolas that will open to the left and to the right. Let us have the following parabolas. Okay? So, if you can see, the first parabola opens upward and the other one opens downward. If we are going to pass a vertical line to either of the two graphs, it will pass in exactly one point. So, therefore, we can say that these graphs, the parabolas that opens upward and downward, are quadratic function because they will not violate the vertical line test. Okay? So, just to show you, those parabolas that open to the right and to the left, if we are going to pass a vertical line to the first parabola that opens to the right and to the left, the, the vertical line will pass at two points. Okay? Here. So, therefore, it is not considered as a quadratic function or a function because they will violate the vertical line test. So, we, we just remember that we use the vertical line test in order for us to say that a graph is a function or not. If it will violate the vertical line test, the given graph is not considered as a function. But if it will pass the vertical line test, therefore, the given graph is a function. So that is why those parabola that open to the right and to the left are not considered as quadratic function. So, let us have some real-life model of quadratic function. So, it can be seen in a boy shooting a ball in the basketball ring. So, this one. And if you can see, the pathway or the path, the trajectory of the ball to the ring forms a parabola. And if you can see, the parabola made opens downward. Okay? So, we can say that it is an application of a quadratic function. Another one is... The entrance arc in structures like the Manila Cathedral. If you can see here, the arches here forms a parabola. Parabola that opens downward. So next, we can also see a real-life model or application of quadratic function in the tension wires in bridge structures like the Golden Gate Bridge in USA. And if you can see, it forms a parabola that opens upward. So, these are only some of the real-life model of quadratic function. So, next, how are we going to determine if the given table of values or ordered pairs are considered as quadratic function? So, a table of values shows a quadratic function if there is a common or equal difference in the independent variable x and second common or equal difference in y. So, this is also true for ordered pairs. So, for us to easily understand this one, let us have an example. So, we need to determine if the given is a quadratic function or not. So, the, the given is the table here. So, the first thing that we should do is to get the difference in x. So, we will be doing that from right to left. So, the first pair, 2 minus 1. So, the answer will be 1. The next pair, 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is just simply 1. And then the other pair, 0 minus negative 1. Negative times negative, that will become positive. So, 0 plus 1, that will be positive 1. And then, the next pair, negative 1 minus negative 2. So, negative times negative, that will become positive. So, negative 1 plus 2, that will become 1. And if you can see, the difference in x are common. Okay, so they are just equal. The next thing that you should do is to get the difference in y. So we will be doing the same thing from right to left. So the first pair, 5 minus 2, the answer will be 3. The second pair, 2 minus 1, that will be 1. The next pair, 1 minus 2, that will become negative 1. And then the last pair, going from right to left, 2 minus 5, that will become negative 3. So, this is considered as the first difference. So, the first difference are not common. They are not equal. So, we go subtracting. 
again. So, 3 minus 1, so the answer will be 2. The other pair, 1 minus negative 1, negative times negative, so that will become positive. But it will be 1 plus 1, so that will be equal to 2. And then, negative 1 minus negative 3, the answer will be positive 2. Because, negative times negative 3, that will become positive 3. And negative 1 plus 3, that will become 2. So this is now the second difference. And if you can see, the second difference are equal. So therefore, we can now say that the table of values given is an example of a quadratic function. You can see the second difference here obtained is 2. Same with this one and the last pair. Okay? So next, how about the second example? We are given with this table. The first thing that we should do is to get the difference in x. And if you can see, we we've only used the same values of x from negative 2 to 2. So we can now say that the difference here is 1. But again, we will obtain the difference from right to left. So 2 minus 1, so that will be 1. 0 minus 1, that will be 1. 0 minus negative 1, 1. So negative 1 minus negative 2, that will be 1. Okay? So next, let us go in getting the difference in y. So this is the most important thing that we should consider in determining whether the given table of values is a quadratic function or not. So the first one, we will go from right to left. Negative 3 minus negative 4. So negative times negative, that will become positive. So negative 3 plus 4, that will be 1. So next pair, negative 4 minus negative 5. Negative times negative again, it will become positive. Negative 4 plus 5, it will be 1. Next, negative 5 minus negative 6. Negative times negative is positive. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1. And then the last pair, negative 6 minus negative 7. Negative times negative is positive. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. And if you can see, in the first difference, they are already equal. So we can now say that this is not a quadratic function. But we can call this one as a linear function. Remember, in the definition of quadratic function in terms of table of values, it should be in the second difference that they should be equal. Okay? So next, let us go with the third example. The third example is in ordered pair form. So we can actually formulate a table or let us put these points into table. So let us first have the values of x. So this is actually the first number in the ordered pair. So let us put them in the table. So that will be there. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then the other one, we need to put the values of y to the table. So the values of y are the second number in the ordered pair. So let us now put those y values to our table of values. So it will become negative 10, negative 4, 0, 2, and 2. Next thing that we should do in order for us to determine if it is a quadratic function or not, let us find the difference in x. And if you can see, they are just the same, just like what we had on the first two examples. So therefore, the difference here is 1. Next, let us go with the difference in y. Let us subtract from right to left. 2 minus 2, that will become 0. Then, 2 minus 0, that will become 2. Next, 0 minus negative 4. Negative times negative is positive. So that will be 0 plus 4, we have 4. The last one, negative 4 minus negative 10. Negative times negative again, it will become positive. So negative 4 plus 10, that will be positive 6. And if you can see, the first difference here are not the same. So let us go subtracting the first difference. 0 minus 2, that will become negative 2. Next pair, 2 minus 4, that will become negative 2. And then the other one, 4 minus 6, the answer is negative 2. You can see the second difference are equal or common. So we can now say 
that the given ordered pair a while ago turned into a table of values is an example of a quadratic function. Now, it's your turn. You need to determine if the following uh, graphs, table of values, equations are quadratic function or not. So you can pause the video for a while and try to answer the following items. The next slide here will be the answer key. Okay, time's up. So let us check your answers. So for number one, this is a quadratic function. If you can see, this is in the vertex form. For number two, it is not a quadratic function. You should take note that the highest exponent of the independent variable x must be 2. Since here, we have negative 2, we will not be considering this one as a quadratic function. Next, number three. In terms of graph, we can say that this is a quadratic function since the parabola opens upward. And for number 4, it is a quadratic function since if you are going to get the difference in x, they are the same. At the same time, the second difference in y are also the same. And for number 5, it is not a quadratic function. If you are going to make a table out of this given, you will determine that the first difference in y here are already the same. So we can now say that this is not a quadratic function. So if you've learned something for today, please do not forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell for more. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. This is Sir Jude. Good day!